What's up YouTube? Apple Tech over here. In this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 4.3 firmware for every device supported except for the iPad 2. Now you're going to have to give them some time. It's only been two or three days since the iPad 2 was released, but I'm sure it's coming soon. So when that comes, I'll give you guys news on how to do that. So make sure you subscribe up above for up-to-date news on the iPad 2 jailbreak. Now, to jailbreak 4.3, this is only going to be a tethered jailbreak, and it, which means that you're going to have to plug it up to the computer every time you want to turn it off and turn it back on. Um, and also, this is pretty beta, so a lot of things aren't going to be supported. So if you're still running 4.2.1 and you, know, you want to upgrade, just stay on 4.2.1 until a more secure jailbreak is available. So to get this, you're going to open up Snowbreeze which I will give you a download link in the description and you're going to see it's not recommended for commercial use or it's not for commercial use close the credits are you sure you want to do this? yes we are so you're going to open up the IPSW now you're going to have to download that first I'll put a link to the downloads in the description Okay, so open that up and it's going to identify the IPSW. See it's iPod Touch 4, which is what we have. We're going to go simple or expert mode. Simple mode is fine for now. And I see it is building the IPSW and I will return as soon as that is done. Now as you can see, Snowbreeze has finished building your custom IPSW file. And all you're going to do is hit OK right now. And then you're going to put it into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do this, there's instructions on the screen. Make sure you turn off your device first, like it's showing you how to here on the screen. Okay, as soon as that's turned off, prepare to press the home and power button. As soon as it counts down, press both home and power button at once and hold it for 10 seconds. If you want to just follow the countdown on the screen. And then release the power button and continue holding the home button for around 30 seconds. You don't have to hold it for 30 seconds, it will stop counting once it recognizes the iPod or whatever you're using in DFU mode. As you can see right there, it is done. Now it is in a Pwn DFU mode. What you want to do now is just let it clean up. Okay, and then you're going to open iTunes. Now once iTunes opens, you're going to notice that it says it has detected an iPod in recovery mode that it's just recognized in the DFU mode. So now you're going to hit restore, but you're going to hold shift down. That'll allow you to select your own IPSW file you want to restore to. This will be on your desktop, and it has placed the custom Snowbreeze IPSW there. You're going to select that, and hit restore, and then it's going to restore your device to the custom IPSW. Now uh, I will return as soon as that is done. Alright, so it is finally done. Um, took me a lot longer than I expected. I had to restore it back to factory settings and then redo the entire process again. Like I said, only try this if you really need it. So you're going to open up the iBooty um, folder and then open up iBooty.exe. And it'll just show a quick info right there. And then you're going to have to put your iPod or your device in DFU mode again. I'm just going to click select your device, just like that, and then hit start. And you're just going to follow the on-screen instructions on how to put it in DFU mode. It's the same way as we did before. So you're going to press and hold both the power and home button. And you're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button. Alright, so now that as soon as that ends, you will be booted into a tethered jailbreak. Now this means that you cannot turn your iPod off or your iPhone off or whatever you're using without having to plug it back in and boot it back up with iBooty again. Um, it's really buggy and you know it, it's a really big hassle. It is definitely not worth the upgrade if you're already jailbroken on 4.2.1. In fact, I'll probably downgrade back to 4.2.1 just because it seems a lot easier and a lot better. Um, so that's it for this video. 
Make sure if you like this video to click the little like button down below. Make sure you subscribe up top for the Untethered Jailbreak. I will have a video on that as soon as it comes out. And um, make sure you check out a giveaway. I have a $5 Amazon card giveaway. So uh, that's it. Peace.